<laughs> have you missed me? I have missed doing videos. It's been a while. It's been a long, hot summer. And already I ain't even got the table set. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Not already. That's a two-pound dad blame fish right there, and I done lost him on the camera. But anyway, here's what I'm using. I got to get my net. That's for dad blame sure. I ain't even got my table set. But, uh, I mean, that's come off a, uh, that's a bumblebee spinny mini. Now, everybody knows I like my spinny minis, and I'm actually set up with all spinny minis. I'll probably have to change it, but it's uh, 66 degree water. It's finally started dropping some. It's been cold wind, fall of the year, into October now. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to get out this morning and see if I can catch some fish suspended tight lining. You know, the biggest thing is the water's still clear. But I'm up on a, a different lake, High Rock, this morning. And uh, hoping that, uh, you know, it's got enough color that we can just mess through, uh, get back in here and mess through here. Because just generally it's a, it's, a, it's a lake, it's got a little color to it. But like I said, it's clearer than I want it to be. And that one bit green and black, black and chartreuse, in other words. And I'm marking them from 12 to 14 foot deep. But there's some stumps and there's some brush and everything out here in this cove. And we're just going to mess around out here and see if we can catch some of these big socolaves, specks, whatever you want to call them. And I'll show you, you know, my screen, and, you know, it's marking the fish. And it's marking some bait in here, too. But, like I told you, this is my 14-foot rod. You know, you see all my stuff. There's my little spinning reels. I like to use them. I'm going to do one a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to get down on one of them rivers and try to fish one of them channels, and the fish is deeper. And we're going to do a, what you call a pushing one you know, with one ounce weights and try some different rods out. People like to use. But right now, this is what we're doing here. Three eighths ounce. See it? There she's sliding. There's my little split shot. And this way, you know, like I said, I can put it in. I know this eyes right here is 10 foot deep. And I want to go just 12 foot. Let's try that. No, I'm marking a few down there a little bit deeper. 14, 16. Let's see if I can get hung up and lose one of these son of a guns. How's that? I don't think, oh God. Man, I can't catch fish this morning. I don't know what's wrong with me. A little bit better here. Got my net. Come on. Hello, Mosey. That's a jolly whopper. Already this morning. I finally got one in the boat. <laughs> That's a pretty than pound and a half. That's good for me. Beautiful, beautiful. Just missed one, then I caught one. That come off fire tiger. Fire tiger. But anyway. You know, just drifting around, but I wanted to tell you, I had a lot of conflict about a 
picture I'd posted on my Facebook page. I was trying to collect money for one of them live scopes. And uh, I didn't get enough money for it. But anyway, if you ain't never fished one of them son of a guns, Bo, you need to try that. Because I'm telling you right now, them things are game, they game changers. I fished with my buddy a couple times and, you know, they got them. And, uh, I mean, it's just like a camera down there. You know, there's pros and cons about it. There's nothing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. an old white fish there. Uh, there's pros and cons about that thing. I reckon if you can afford one, it's a pro. You like them son of a gun. Now, if you can't afford one, I reckon it's a con because they got an advantage. That's a white fish there. But uh, I'm tell it's just like a camera. I'm telling you that. Uh, if you want a brush pile or something, you can see that men are wiggling down there and the fish coming up and eating it. And you can tell if they big fish or little fish. Now, I can't tell you if it's a brim or a perch or a catfish yet. You know, I had guys look at them big fish and say, that's a catfish. And I believe, I really believe that. But uh, where I think that thing's going to gain is advantages. You know, if you own a brush and naturally, you know, you can just drop that jig down in there and you're jigging it or whatever and you can pick them fish right out of that brush. I believe that with a hundred percent and a dock shooter. A dock shooter, whoa, don't you? We was fishing and, you know, we was fishing some brush out in front of some dock and he had that thing on his trolling motor and you turn that thing out on that trolling motor. That son of a gun shined up under that dock and I mean to tell you that dock lit up like a Christmas tree if they wasn't a hundred crappy under that son of a gun. And I said, man, that shoots docks. That would be a game changer for him too. But if you're spider rigging, if you're tight lining out in the river, I can, uh, I can see where that thing, you can, oh, come on, I think I'm hung. You can, uh, pick them fish out in that river. Oh, crap. Hung up. Oh, man. I think I done hit a brush pile. That ain't good. That ain't good at all, not when I've got these spinnies on here. And there ain't no fish on the son of a gun either. Didn't have a single rod go up, go down. But anyway, nothing but being hung up. Oh, crap. Well, let go. Crap, it come out. Wasn't a single fish on that brush, but now if I'd had that live scope, I believe I could have just sort of, that live scope would have told me if there's any fish on that thing. But anyway, I don't know, it's just, it's a game changer, but if you in that river, and you going down that river, you can turn that thing right, or you can turn that thing left, and you can mark them fish out there 50 feet. And you say, there's a pod, let's go get them. They incredible, boy, I'm telling you what, if you ain't never had one, and everybody's getting them, you know. I know it doesn't hurt them fellas at Garmin, every one of them buying them lake houses. They're making so much money now that uh, they just mopping up. And I don't blame them a bit, man. You got something like that, you do it. Because I'm telling you, these people that's got them, I mean, they shelling some dad blame corn with them son of a gun boy. They filling up them buckets, and uh, it's good. But I won't be able to get one. 
not unless somebody gives me one and then I don't know if I could use it or not but I think they're pretty simple from what I've seen but we'll see how that goes oh crap we don't even want to see this one. another dead blame white fish piece of junk Caught one good and then it went sour down, didn't it? a little bit better one. God! That's a little bit better when I'm telling you what. I'm ashamed of that. He bit like he weighed two pounds. God! I can't believe I even got a video of that. Didn't see. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. I promise you. I don't know what's that. I, I just hit a pot. It looked like bait, but I reckon it's crappy. But uh, that's bait fish there. I mean, I use it. I use minnows bigger than that. God, no, I ain't gonna slam him down. I'm gonna grow him. Let him go back. You're ashamed. Finally landed a dead blame fish. I've been missing several of them. Now that is a good one, boy. That right there. I got a mess, but I got him in the boat. But you shoot, you can handle that. I'll untangle any kind of mess. I've been losing some, but. That son of a gun there wouldn't have come off in three days. He's over a pound and a half. That's a good fish right there, boy. Go back to another day. So what I do, that fish right there was about 12 foot deep. There's my eye. And I didn't reel up nothing on him. Red, blue, and chartreuse. Let's go back for another one. You know, I've had a couple bites off that red, blue, and chartreuse. I may even put another one on. If they want to bite that good. Let's see if we can catch us another one. foot let's 
may be yeah that's pretty good in my hair whoa baby come on come on if I would open my net up it would be better no doubt about that but we found a few fish what they've done It got my net, got my, got all in my nets. What they done? That's fine. I retire. But anyway, they just pretty babies this morning. I'm telling you, they thick. You know, for this lake, I mean, we catch some pretty good fish down the river. And it's finally time for them to, uh, you know, start moving. It's been so hot. This It's still clear, but they, you know, I'll have to show it to you on the depth finder. But the river runs right through here, and you see we're close to the bank. And there's a sharp ledge, and actually it's 25, 25 foot. Now we're in 21. It'll come up to about 10 right there. And they're just hanging around this ledge on some stumps and stuff like that. But anyway, that's a good one. I'll let him go back. Now remember one thing. Keep what you can eat. And I really don't need him. You know, so uh, that's all we're going to do. You know, we're throwing them back. I just wanted to catch a few. And, you know, caught some pretty good fish today. Not bad for this lake. It's a good in here. They wild get all in your dead blame net. I mean get all in your other line. Wild copper heads. But I found out something I was losing a couple of them. There's a little bit of brush right there, but uh, this son of a gun, they got a tough mouth. You got to really set the hook on them to get them son of a guns to stay on there. I was picking up on them, but now you got to really set them. Pound and a quarter, that's a nice fish right there. Now let me get my tangled mess undone. You got hey, some stumps. Nice. Nah, I ain't that big. Stumps, and there's, there's some brush. Oh, you can hang up in it, too. But uh, let me stop this thing right here. That wasn't that big, but. There may be some more off that thing. There's a little brush right here. And, and that's basically all we're doing. We're just going down the edge of the river. No, don't be hung up. We're going down the edge of the river. And it's just a sharp ledge. Uh, before we leave, I'm going to take a picture of it. Nice eating fish. It's just a sharp ledge that them fish are just hanging right on this ledge. Not a ton of them, but it's enough that you can uh, have a mess for supper. And that's where that live scope, you run that ledge and shoot that baby along that live scope and uh, you have something there, boy. I'll guarantee you that. We're going to fish this thing just a second. See if we can catch another one off of it. I pulled across a couple of little old stumps and brush. And uh, ain't done nothing, but this is holding a couple right here.
But it must not be but a couple. I thought we could catch a couple right here. Four or five, I'm sorry. But regardless, I mean, I think we've had pretty good, we got some pretty good fish, a couple of pretty good fish. I think they're getting ready to move a little bit. But then again, I wanted to get out here and just do a little tight lining. I just ain't done no tight lining all summer. Haven't done any tight lining all summer. He ain't gonna bite. He's not going to bite. You know, I got this dead blame autopilot thing, this spot lock. A lot of people love it. I just ain't sure. I could always do better with my feet. Now nah, I'm hung up and no, I didn't. I could always do better with my foot. Control if I wanted to stay on a brush. Because this thing's just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And twist this that cord in a knot. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I had to get another because mine just, mine blowed up. It, it was an old and I liked it, but it just flat blowed up on me. But that's the way it goes. About like me, about blowed up. me by surprise. He caught me by surprise. Whoa. Trying to get the catfish straight now. He's a good pound. You know, a catfish can mess everything up. They just totally amaze me what they can do. But, we're about to wind this thing down anyway. Oh, come on. See there what I'm talking about? thing to do that but I'm not one for change either now I'll tell you right now I'm just not one for this newfangled stuff that come out I know these things have been out forever mm -hmm. but I've been fine my whole I'll fix that thing later I got a knot in it but I'm gonna put it back in I'll probably catch a three pounder He was two pounds, but he ain't. He's a good eater. But I think that's about it. The sun's getting... sun's getting around where you can't do no video. And if you ever done video and before, you'd understand what I'm talking about. It blinds 
the lens when the sun gets on you. And uh, if it blinds the lens, then you can't really fish. Now that right there is a piece of junk. All right, once you've seen, once you've seen what I'm talking about, you know, you know what we're fishing all day, and that's just sort of something to look for when uh, you just get on these river ledges, because these fish, that river, like I've said a thousand times, that's their highway, and they're gonna stop off at these hotels, they're gonna stop off at these 7-Eleven stores. And that's your brush, that's your stuff, anything that's got a little bit of cover along this river. And just look at that when you're doing it. But remember one thing, like I said, if you need any of these rods, I'm fishing my 14 footers today, I'm fishing my standards. You know, I've got heavy ones, whatever you need. These are my reels. Fanny minis, whatever you need, you know, just give me a call. You know, 704-791-0108. Or go to my website you can look at it on the website www.southerncrappyrods.com and remember i'm ed if i can uh, help you give me a call i'll see you later